Hey, what is up guys? It's Gothic VR and I'm back with another tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I transferred a Vroid Studio model into VRChat. This process was kind of a pain in the ass. Excuse my language, uh, especially because the tutorial I personally was using was outdated. It was a year old. Uh, but thankfully, the comments uh, saved me. So first, I want to give a shout out to this person right here that I can't pronounce her name, but they helped me get the uh, current versions of the programs that we need. I also want to give a shout out to the virtual reality show because their video is what mostly got me through this whole thing. So buckle up, prepare yourselves, and let's get right into this. So if you clicked on this video, I'm gonna assume you already have Vroid Studio. If not, you can find it on Steam. Just look up Vroid. I have it open here. Vroid pops up, totally free. You can download clothing and stuff online, but we're not gonna cover that right now. So, okay. First, you're gonna wanna open up Vroid here. And uh, these are the only two models that I've messed with so far. But I actually messed up on the first time exporting this model. So I'm going to be doing it here for you guys. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to assume you guys are going to have your models ready to go, all customized. Uh, you can go ahead and bully me if you don't like my uh, avatar. I don't care. Uh, so what the video didn't explain, which I had to figure out on my own, was how to actually export this as a VRM file. So what we're going to want to do is click this export or this button up here. Then we are going to click export as VRM. So go ahead and click that. You're going to want to let it load for a bit. Okay, here we go. So again, I'm not a pro at this. Uh, I'm just trying to make it easy for you guys. So we're not going to mess with any of the options here. We're just going to go ahead and click export. Go ahead and name it whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to keep it as this because it's... Uh, what I want to name it. Uh, I don't know, put whatever for creator. Uh, I'm Gothic VR, so I put Gothic VR. And you don't have to worry about any of this. Just go ahead and export and just go ahead and choose whatever location you want. I already have a avatars folder that I made. You can put it on your desktop, downloads, whatever. I'm going to replace it. Okay, so just go ahead and save it. Wait for this to finish up. Then we could just go ahead and close this. Now comes the fun part. So what we're going to need is Unity. You guys have to pay attention to this. It has to be 2019.429. And make sure whatever you have, Windows, Mac. I have Windows, so I'm going to show you this. You're going to do Unity Editor. Don't click the hub. Hub is just going to give you... It's not going to work, okay? So just click unity editor 64 bit you're going to go ahead and download that you're going to set it up i'm just going to click cancel because i already have it installed over here set it up i believe you do not have to sign in once you finish setting it up okay so once you have unity installed we're just going to leave it there don't open it just leave it alone for now next thing you're going to want to download is the vrm converter for vr chat you are going to have to make an account uh that should be pretty easy i'm going to show you the old version because that was the easiest for me. Uh, this was a little confusing. So we're just gonna go ahead and do old version and just download it to wherever. I have it on my desktop. I'm not gonna re-download it because I already have it. Just to show you right here, this is where I have the folder. So it's gonna look a little something like this. Don't run it, just leave it alone for now. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is download the VRChat SDK 3. So go ahead and click this one, the one for avatars. You're gonna wanna download that. Just again, wherever you're putting everything, I just put it on my desktop. Uh, you don't have to worry about this one over here. This is Worlds, we're not gonna be making a world. Uh, if you have watched previous videos, they might've told you to use SDK2, but with my experience, it didn't work. So just focus on SDK3 avatars. Okay, now we can go ahead and open up Unity. We're gonna get this little window here. We're just gonna create empty project. Okay, just go ahead and make a new folder anywhere that you want, name it whatever, select it, and that's where it's going to save our project to. It is going to take a little bit to load, so if you don't see it for a few seconds, this window popping up, 
Just wait for it, it should pop up. Okay, now we have Unity open. It might have taken a while for you, it took a while for me too. Just let it sit for a while. But again, now we have this open. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go down here, we're gonna right click, we're gonna click import, and then custom package, import package, custom package. We're gonna go to that location where we got all our downloads. First, we are gonna do the VR chat SDK3. Right here, I'm gonna open it up, import it. So we're gonna get this window up here. We're just gonna go ahead and click import. Okay, now it's done loading. And now if you can see, we have our little VR chat SDK tab up here. But we're gonna leave that alone for now. One more thing, you might get a little VR chat pop-up for the SDK. Um, I probably didn't get it because I had already done this before. But you could go ahead and close out of that if you do get that. Uh, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go back, import package, custom package once again. Now we're gonna put in the converter. So this is where I have my file, the VRM converter. We're gonna click this, we're gonna open it up and convert it. And again, you have to be patient, just let it load. Okay, actually that was pretty quick. So we're just gonna go into import. Okay, this one might take a little while longer. Okay, now that that is all done, we're gonna go up here, VRM, this should be a new tab that you get, VRM zero. We're gonna go in and import. Now you're gonna find wherever you saved your models, wherever you saved your models, your VRM models from Vroid, that's where you're gonna go. So I'm gonna go documents, I'm gonna go Vroid, avatars, and this is the one I'm trying to import, Gothic VR V1.1, I'm gonna open it up. Uh, you're gonna get this, another pop-up, I'm just gonna go ahead and save. Okay, now that we have our model here, we're gonna go ahead and click on it, Leave it selected. We're going to go up here to VRM and we're going to go ahead and click duplicate and convert for VR chat. And I'm going to go ahead and just leave everything as is here. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate and convert. I'm just going to save it wherever because I had issues when I tried moving it previously. So I'm just going to leave it as is save. We get this little window up here. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And now we can see our character over here. You can use the right click to move around like this. Uh, scroll wheel, zoom in and out. Go side to side, up and down with your middle mouse button. Okay, one more thing you have to do before we're ready to export. We're gonna go ahead and click over here on the left on our model. We're gonna go over here. You're probably gonna have this drop down view. I know it's a little tough to see. So basically what we're gonna have to do, there's gonna be this little gray ball. I think you can sort of see it right here. We basically have to get that in between our character's eyes. So what I was told to do in the video I watched was to get this gray little ball in between your character's eyeballs. So we're gonna have to play around with these values over here, the X, Y, and Z. And I will come back to you when I have my values. Okay. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I'm not too sure what the whole eyeball thing is about, that gray ball and adjusting it, the view position. I was just told to do this. I am a beginner as well, once again. If you do know, please leave a comment down below. Uh, inform me and others that may be watching this video. Anyways, the values that I got for X, I put zero. Y, I put 1.59 and for Z, I put 0 0.064. Okay guys, a quick disclaimer. This is a beginner tutorial and I also am a beginner myself. Um, so your avatar is not going to be optimized. Just FYI. As you can see in a bit, we're gonna see some errors, but we're just gonna go ahead and ignore them. Again, the avatar is not gonna be fully optimized, but it should work. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and go up to VR Chat SDK. We're gonna go ahead, show control panel. Okay, if it's your first time, you guys are probably gonna start off on this authentication page. It's gonna ask you to log in through VR Chat. So go ahead and do that. As you can see, I'm allowed to publish world and I'm allowed to publish avatars. It is possible that you are not allowed to. Uh, all I can say is play some more VR Chat. 
I think it all depends on how long you've played VR chat and your trust level, however that works. But assuming that you are allowed to, we're gonna go over here to Builder. And this is where we can see all of our errors because it's not optimized. But again, beginner tutorial from a beginner. So we're just gonna go ahead, build and publish for Windows. Okay, and once we're all done with that, we're gonna get this little pop-up. You're gonna name your avatar. So once again, I'm gonna put Gothic VR version 1.1. Description, you can add description. I'm just gonna put the same thing because I can. And you could add all these tags, nudity, blood, whatever. Uh, sharing, I'm gonna keep mine on private because it's my model. I spent the time, I <laughs> customized it. Uh, but you can make it public if you would like. I don't know what's up with the image. Usually it shows uh, preview. So once everything looks good to you, just go ahead and click this check mark over here. Or you're gonna wanna check it, I mean. Then upload. Okay, now we have this window. Update complete. Launch VR Chat to see your uploaded content. Okay, if you go ahead and visit your profile on vrchat.com and go to avatars, here you can see the two avatars that I've uploaded. This is the first one, but I messed up. And this is the new one that I uploaded. These, at least with my experience, do not work on the Oculus Quest 2 version of VR Chat. It should work for the Steam version of VR Chat, and I will go ahead and test it out for you guys in just a bit. Before I show you the avatars, I just want to say thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave some comments down below. Maybe help each other out. Um, if you guys want to see a tutorial on how to get custom clothing in Vroid Studio, go ahead and let me know. Leave a like. It's actually pretty easy, so I do not mind making a tutorial at all. Yeah, that's about it. Have a good one, guys. Okay guys, here I am in VR. I know the resolution is probably a little off, but I just want to show you quickly. Here we're going to go avatars. And oh look, my creations, there they are. So this is the one I wanted to test out because this one was a little messed up with the hair. And change into avatars. There we go, there. Look at that, looking pretty sick. Or not, I don't know. Hey, me. Uh, you can see a little holes there, but oh well. Why am I, why am I happy? I mean, uh, my mouth doesn't move. Okay, that I don't know. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know how to fix the mouth stuff. If I do figure out the mouth situation. I will go ahead and either post a tutorial or if someone knows, please put it in the comments down below. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped someone out. I hope this gave someone at least a starting point in their avatar making career or whatever. Um, yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching.